Yeah, 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 yeah. So hi everybody. What I have here is the portable blender from No, I'm not gonna tell you. You're just gonna have to buy it. It's awesome. And my setup here has some lemon juice, a hundred percent lemon juice from concentrate, some soft fruits, watermelon, papaya, mango. And we're gonna I'm gonna show you how the portable blender that I have here works. Now the jar is actually a glass jar and it has six blades on the base. It is not waterproof. They advise you strongly not to get it anywhere near water. They also have the charging port right there. It has a perfect little dust cover to keep it out. And check this out. If you try to start the blender with the jar off, the safety feature lights up and it doesn't actually spin the blades because it's not safe to do that so they really thought about this guys so here's the glass jar a really good quality glass jar too i've put some water mm, yummy water and it is summer so it's rather hot in the jar um it's advised that you do that I've also tipped in a generous splash of that lemon juice because who, do, who doesn't like lemon juice with your smoothie or your fruit blend? It's delicious. And then I just started loading in some of that soft fruit. Now I'd actually tried that prior to filming this and at the time of filming it, I had, I had removed the watermelon seeds. But when I had tested it out at first, I didn't remove the watermelon seeds. And would you believe it, with the proper usage of this machine, I was able to drink it. Seeds and all. Seeds and all. So I'm just continuing to stack up the fruits because the more the merrier. And with fruits, I mean really, could you, can you have too many? In a blender cup. In one go. No, you can't. And... Oh, if you tried to start this particular setup with an overload, because they tell you to fill it 75% of the way, so you see me smooshing it down into the water, they'd be like, ah, am I about 75%? The blender doesn't blend. It also flashes that red signal like, hey, overfilled, take something out, take something out, and then... You will see after I have stuffed it with the deliciousness of, ooh, Saint Julien Mango. That's right. It's delicious. The only mango worth eating, really. Um, but we'll leave the dispute for another time. On to the portable blender. I'm actually at my desk space in the office. And I was like, hmm, 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 hmm. What's for breakfast? So... Here you see me putting the, the blender jar on top of the, no, the blender base on top of the blender jar at first. So it blinks, it lights up to say, hey, everything's all aligned correctly. I press the on button and ta-da, it started up. Guys, this thing is low, but it's not uncomfortably low, if you get what I mean. Do you see how quickly that whipped the fruits into juice? Look at that. Of course, you give it a shake and it's not opposed to the shake. It helps to blend it out even smoother. It's like a 20 second blend time. And I gave it a shake, a little shuck a shuck a shuck. Turned it upside down so you guys could see that it was still blending and blending very nicely. I haven't actually tried it with ice, but I can't see it going wrong with a few pieces of crushed ice. Um, I would not advise stuffing it with ice. It is not that kind of a blender. I see it being good for like keeping something good at work or after a workout or if you need a protein shake. Here, you can clearly see how smooth this thing blended. I'm not seeing lumps and chunks. You know those, nah, those horrible like I have not blended out properly type of lumps? Not in this case. And it comes with a nifty leak-proof cover 
for storage purposes. So I was able to just, you know, like, huh, I'm just going to have some now and some later. And there you go, guys. Look at that. Fresh, beautiful juice.